It's 4th of December 2015 and today I'm talking with Liam Devlin, CEO of Plextech RFI, about the cost trade-offs between standard and custom mimics. Liam, when can it make sense for an engineer to consider using a custom designed MMIC rather than a standard off-the-shelf product? Well, there are several scenarios where a custom designed MMIC could be the best option. If the required functionality is not available in a commercial off-the-shelf or COTS product, then a custom designed MMIC could be the best approach. If the performance of an available standard product part does not meet the requirements in all aspects, and maybe it's a, a particular performance item that would not be considered as core for a standard product, you can optimize these with a custom design. If multiple COTS MMICs can be mocked up in a single custom MMIC, this can provide savings in cost and in size and improve performance and reduce power consumption. And finally, if an existing part is going to be made obsolete and we can design a custom part that's pad compatible or pin compatible, then this can save an awful lot of redesign cost. We normally think of a custom IC as something that's only considered for very high volume applications. But is this always the case? No, not necessarily. Initial prototyping costs can be relatively modest. Multi-project IC fabrication options exist that can make prototype fabrication surprisingly affordable. Obviously, the design and evaluation fees still apply, but depending on the target performance, these can be perfectly tolerable and a custom option can be much more affordable than one might first think. Are there some aspects of mimic development that are included in the price of a standard product but can be avoided with the development of a custom design? Well, there are some items which are, are common to both. The initial design and development costs, as well as the fabrication, the test and the packaging, they'll be, need to be amortised over the production quantities in both cases. However, with a custom designed MMIC, you don't pay for the supplier's margin, which is required to cover the ongoing operating costs, including marketing, sales, PR, customer support, and of course, profit. So can you give me a particular example of where a custom mimic development has actually been shown to save money? Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously familiar with, with several examples where this has been the case. One in particular that springs to mind would be a, a client of ours who had a really a relatively simple MMIC that was used on a number of different PCBs that they had in production. And this part was going to be made obsolete. So we identified an alternative commercially available process. We redesigned the part for them. We identified a suitable packaging company. We had it packaged in exactly the same package style with the same pinout. We had the packaging company look after the production test and we looked after the logistics for them to get that package through into production and they saved themselves, in honesty, quite a substantial amount of money by not having to redesign all of these PCBs. Are there any other important issues that should be considered when deciding whether to develop a custom IC? Yeah, good question, yeah. We also need to consider issues such as the production test of the die on the pack or the package part and the management of the supply chain once you're in production and the desired level of qualification. And these are all issues that we help our clients address, but there are also issues that need to be considered early in the development process. Thank you.